Guys, welcome back to another video. You know, we've been talking about Logan Paul a little bit lately. He's had this huge scam revealed by CoffeeZilla and came out with potentially the worst response video of all time, which he's now deleted, by the way. But totally unrelated, the universe has sent us more messages that this man is human trash. This is completely unrelated. Here is Logan Paul with his pig, Pearl. Now, if you guys don't know, pigs are very intelligent, very wonderful, beautiful animals. I bought Pearl over a year ago. He said, I was told she was a mini pig. She's not. Here he is with the pig. He's made videos with her. He's done posts with her. Like, here, look at this. Like, what the fuck happened? So he is very much using this pig for clout. So this is where the story becomes tragic. There's a animal rescue slash sanctuary TikTok account called The Gentle Barn. And this is an animal sanctuary, a charity run by saints, essentially, that find abandoned animals, um, damaged animals, unwanted animals, and they bring them to their sanctuary and give them lovely, beautiful lives. So now let's fast forward to what the Gentle Barn posted. Now, first, I'm going to read their caption, then I'm going to play you this video. They said, Pearl was found alone in a field next to another pig who had passed away. She came to us with tattered ears and potentially life-threatening infections in her uterus that have since been healed. She's clearly been through so much trauma that we can't begin to imagine, but she's now safe with us at the gentle barn. From what we've been told, it's believed she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. People often buy many pigs or teacup pigs for clout online, believing that they will stay small. When they inevitably grow very large and have many unexpected needs, they're sadly discarded. While we don't know everything she's been through in her past, we do know her life is now filled with friends, nutritious food, and the highest quality of care. Here's the video they posted that's actually uh, making its rounds on social media now. Let's take a look. We got a call about a pig abandoned in a field. She was found with another pig who had just passed away. She's lucky to be alive. We were told she belonged to a famous YouTuber and was irresponsibly rehomed. All we know for sure is she ended up abandoned and scared. With mangled ears and a broken heart. So we brought her to our sanctuary with a promise that she will never be alone again. Welcome home, Pearl. These people are saints, by the way. And I went over to their TikTok page, which I rec do recommend everyone follows. And these people are just saints, man. They, they just do rescue and they are just, they're wonderful people, honestly. And I actually went over to their website after I saw that what they've been up to and I donated a thousand bucks. If you guys want to support the gentle barn, um, I think that's a great worthy cause. So, uh, there it is. I of course dedicated the donation to Logan Paul and his memory. Um, cause his career is about to be, Ooh, that joke can take a lot of different directions. Let's just say his career is about to be, found in a forest by me in this video right now and i'm about to see it and go oh i, I think, think there's, there's a bunny right there. there animal cruelty it's like scamming okay you know people can let scamming go he stole millions of dollars Ooh, big deal or he lost millions of dollars okay but animal cruelty nobody and i mean nobody's going to be tolerating that shit and pigs are one of the smartest mammals there are. They have like full range of emotions. They're very intelligent, very sweet. They get attached to their owners. So, I mean, this is really the epitome of buying an animal for clout and abandoning it. Now, I don't know. It's They say he rehomed the pig irresponsibly. I don't know. I think they're guessing because all they did is found the pigs in a field. So I don't know what's the story here. If he rehomed it... 
and then the people he rehomed it to abandoned them. But in truth, he's the guy who bought these. And I don't care what the rehome did. This is his responsibility to make sure these pigs are safe and that they went to a good home. Right. And, you know, I have I'm I own animals. I have two dogs and I love them more than life itself. And if God forbid anything ever came up where I had to rehome them, I'd be goddamn sure that that was going to a home where they would be cherished and loved every day. But after I saw this story, it kind of, I started adding things up in my mind and I says, wait, Logan Paul has a history of abusing and mistreating his pets. Okay. And, and then I, it started to get really weird and creepy. Yeah, by the way, um, here's the vlog um, of him adopting the pig with his girlfriend. He got six million views out of that. So you know what? Bada bing, bada boom. That paid for the pig, right? So, you know, you get the clout, you leave the pig. And apparently when he broke up with his girlfriend, he also uh, broke up with the pig and just discarded it like a uh, old vlog. So first I went back and there's a few actually known instances I remember at the time being like this behavior is like antisocial and weird. It's not normal to be treating animals like this. Here is Logan Paul in the backyard. He has koi fish and he really starts handling them like inanimate objects. And I know they're just fish, but still it, it there's a creepy Lack of humanity here. Take a look. That's Goldilocks. He's still breathing. Yo, I feel like putting him on land oh. is not. What do I do? No. CPR? No, dude. I think. No, no, no. Put, no, him, no. Is worse. put him back in the water. Okay. You gotta get oxygen circulating through his lungs. I'm not a doctor, but I do know the more oxygen that's in what, your. What? What kind of sick dude? You're manhandling a fish and running it through the water. You're covering his gills, by the way, with your hand. I, I mean, what do you? I mean, I don't know. This comfort around. Uh, am I alone? I mean, I find this really unsettling the way he's handling this. The more better you're able to live. Be free! No. Oh! <laughs> so look, I'm not a fish doctor. Okay? I'm sorry, but that's just like, I don't know, right? I, maybe I'm being sensitive and maybe not. I just, but so in the same video you go forward and this is the video where he tasered the corpse of a dead rat and Again, this is really weird shit, you guys. Um, take a look. Go get him, Lydia. <laughs> oh, wait, are we using weapons for this? I'm not going to use my bare hands. Yeah, you're right. You Here, no rat comes into my house without oh getting so, hey, so, oh, so he pulls out a taser. Oh, and he shot the corpse of a dead mouse with a taser. Again, Weird lack of respect for the sanctity of life. May, again, maybe I'm overacting, but I feel like in the totality of everything I'm going to show you guys. So you guys remember his bird, right? Maverick, the bird. His whole brand, his whole identity is built off this, this uh, parrot he had. So listen to this. And I didn't even know this happened. Logan Paul posted an emotional tribute to his parrot Maverick, who died when it was eaten by his dog. He was eaten by a mastiff. So, okay, his parrot, which he loved greatly, was eaten by his dog. Now, again, as a pet owner, this is like an insanely reckless to leave a beloved pet in a place where there can be harmed. But that's not where it ends. So you go again to another thing, and then you realize his dog was eaten by coyotes. Like, how many of his pets are dying? What is going on here? It, 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 you know what I mean? I'm getting, and again, you know, just my opinion, I'm getting serial killer uh, torture of animal vibes, okay? It's not good. Logan Paul's dog Kong, the savage, passed away after being eaten by wild coyotes, and of course he clouded up on that one as well. Kong. Oh, this one, he did a whole tribute. 19 million, so, dude, that dog paid for itself in gold. You know what I mean? He could buy and kill, like, a whole freaking score of pets with 19 million views. Here's the thing. He lives near me in L.A. 
people know in LA, especially pet owners of small dogs, which Kong was, there are so many coyotes. And I know the area his house lived in, there are, it is just overrun with coyotes. Once the sun goes down, the coyotes come out and you know you cannot leave a small pet unattended. It's just a known fact. So here's what happened. Um, he wrote, despite his savagery, he didn't stand a chance. According to Paul's security camera footage, a pair of wild coyotes appeared in Paul's front yard, causing Kong to start barking. The coyotes jumped the fence to the house, and that was the last time Kong was seen alive. Now, I have coyotes in my neighborhood, and whenever I let my dogs out, I go out with them because I know there's coyotes in this neighborhood and I fuck I care about my dogs I do not want to risk at all them being harmed by coyotes because I would not be able to live with myself if one of my beloved pets was eaten by a coyote especially due to my negligence so how, my question is how many pets is this guy either allowing to be killed negligently letting be killed the, the callousness is just nuts when you add all this up with all the scamming and stuff, too, you really get the picture of, like, a really dangerous psychopath. And I hate to say that, but I'm just not even sure how else to interpret this. There's one thing that I remembered through all this, and this really stood out to me as kind of creepy. Listen to what Logan says in his response to Coffeezilla. Here, take a listen. Honestly, it sucks that after years of personal reform going through trials and tribulations and busting my ass to evolve into a person that i can say i'm actually proud of you led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that i'm a fraud or i tried to scam my audience that is patently false what's weird about this is how he commodifies his reform and then he he goes, I built this, right? It's not like a real change. It's almost like it's something that he has, that he built. It's, it just doesn't seem genuine. It just seems so off. And he clearly hasn't changed. And then for, to blame CoffeeZilla solely for the reason why now people don't like him, I, I don't know. The whole thing is just rubbing me wrong. And I feel like the House of Cards is all tumbling down that this very carefully crafted mirage that he's personally reformed is coming um, down all at once, literally a house of cards. So in the end, what do we make of all this? I don't know, man. It's a dangerous picture of a man who has not changed in my opinion and possibly is even worse. I mean, I don't know, man. Someone who mistreats animals like this is like the first sign of like a really bad person. You know, they say that something in, in common with serial killers is cruelty to animals. Now, I'm not saying Logan Paul's a serial killer, but I do think that this wanton disregard for animal welfare does mean something about his character. Like, it's just not normal. So... I don't know. I found the whole pig thing pretty disturbing, but I'm glad I was able to discover the gentle barn who really are just saints. I mean, these people are great. So I, I'm going to put the link to their um, TikTok in the description. I encourage you guys to all go check them out, follow them and donate if you have some money sitting around that you think would be uh, good to them. How did Logan Paul expect to do a crypto zoo token when all of his animals are dying? You know what I mean? Like, it's not enough to kill real animals. You got to go and kill the digital animals too, man. Whew. Come on, bro.